Using auto print and a multi-opening border, Darkroom can be used quite effectively as a photo booth-like application. To begin with, I'm in the border workshop here and I've created a border in a 4x6 size that has multiple openings. On one side of the photo strip, I've got 1, 2, and 3. On the other side, I've got 1, 2, and 3. Creating a border this way, you can use your multi-cut feature on your printer to print a 4x6 that will be cut in two and have two identical 2x6 strips. When you take the photograph, capture with uh, the camera tethered, the images will go, the same image will go into openings numbered the same. So one and one, two and two, three and three. So we've created our border. This is just a basic border with a space up here that you could insert a logo and down at the bottom I've got our website name. You could put your website name there. So once we have that all set up, we'll save that. And then also next, you want to go to the capture options and go and set up your uh, your capture. In this case, I'm using a hot folder, but you could set it up with your particular camera. Then you want to choose auto print and check after each photo is captured, create a print order containing these items. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in this case a 4x6 and then if you double click on the 4x6 down here you'll see always use a border for this package item so we'll check that and we'll choose the border in this case there's the border that I created and we've got that all set up and you can set you know single copy multiple copies etc got that all ready so anytime that uh, auto print is on it'll generate a print image after every three images so it'll take three images fill the border print it take three images, fill the border, and print it. Okay. Now once that's done, we're going to go back over here to the photo workshop and you'll see I've got the border all set up, ready to go. Now as we take images, those images will drop into the, um, the border. See how both ones filled in? And we'll drop in another one there's two and we'll drop in another one now you don't see it because I don't have a printer showing in the video but you can see that once the the border were all, was all filled with the images it will automatically generate a print you keep shooting and keep capturing it'll just go back and fill these back in fill it up print it just keep shooting so every three photographs it will fill in the three border openings and print it. You can do the same thing with elaborate borders. Uh, for example, I've got another border set up that I'll show right quick. Um, just go to borders, choose border. Here's another border that I set up. It's a little different, a little more elaborate. I've got some tilt on the photographs just to be a little different. And this would work in the same way. As soon as those three cells are filled, it will take and print the picture. And then just keep repeating as long as you keep shooting.